Hey guys, welcome to the Fury Time channel. Yet here on Joshua Ngano can't say a guy that drops Fury is not credible as an opponent. Promoter Red Hair doesn't think he has egg on his face the way that Alex Lewis has insisted he does. The matchroom hat and the last unexpected heavyweight champion in boxing went back and the fourth on social media recently, as it relates to the upcoming fight between Hearns Charge, Anthony Joshua, and former UFC champion Franz Nagano on March 8th in Ridia, Saudi Arabia. The matchup is the latest high-profile fight to take place into the oil producing kingdom, courtesy of one of their powerful bureaucrats. Turkalashi. Lewis excoriated Hearn for standing behind Joshua vs. Nagano, and especially signs Hearn, ridiculed the WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury for deciding to fight Nagano in a boxing novice last October. But the perceived mismatch turned out to be largely a competitive affair with Nagano, even dropping Fury in the early going. Fury would hang on to win a rather close split decision. In response to Lewis, Hearn said in a recent interview the charge of hypocrisy for support think a crossover ball between Joshua and Nagano was not valid because Nagano, he feels, has now designated himself as a worthwhile competitor, where all that is a major role. Here and say because the reason the fight is happening is simply because Alashi who wanted it. Turkey Alashi, moreover, wants to pair the winner of Joshua and Nagano with Tyson Fury. You can't say that a guy that dropped Fury and in many eyes beat him is not credible as an opponent. Here on said. I said to Lennox Lewis that one of the big reasons we are taking that fight because we have been told by His Excellency that the winner of the fight fights with Tyson Fury. And then Joshua said that fight with Nagano is my undisputed fight. That's the mentality. Former two time unifier heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua is treating his upcoming opponent, MMA veteran Francis Nagano, with a tremendous amount of respect. Their crossover boxing match takes place on March 8 in Saudi Arabia. Let me say this again and not focusing on Tyson Fury. Joshua said, I'm going to take my mind. I have to draw it back that Nagano is my undisputed title fight. That's the mentality I have to have. Nagano is my undisputed fight. Because you are only as good as your last fight, and I respect him a lot. He ain't easy money, he is a hard night's work, and uh, you know what's crazy, so am I. I'm hard night's work for anyone, so let's go, it's going to be fireworks, Joshua said. Nagano made his pro debut last October, in a 10-round fight against Tyson Fury. On paper, many observers had expected a complete mismatch. However, Nagano proved himself by dropping Fury in the third round. And then, being competitive the rest of the way, Fury secured a rather close split decision victory. Joshua was initially being positioned to fight long-time rival Deontay Wilder that Nadio fell apart when Wilder suffered an unexpected decision loss to Joseph Parker in December. I thought it might be Wilder still because the contracts were signed. And uh, it's still a big fight, Joshua said. It's still an amazing fight, it's a crossover between UK and USA, all that good stuff in emotional ways. It's still a good fight. So now, I kind of let the one slide for, and then it was the Philip Hergovic situation, and the Andy Ruiz situation, and then they put friends in there, and my team were like, this is a good opportunity on this day in Saudi Arabia, against this opponent. What are you saying? I said, let's roll, let's go, Joshua said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.